What is up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Right off the bat, it's hot as shit today, and I did not plan on filming this. I'm in the middle of just doing like a bunch of maintenance on the truck, all my fluids, make sure all the zerks work, everything looking good, all my lines are nice and tight for our long trip coming up. For the trip coming up to Utah, um, so I had not planned on filming what I'm about to do right now. Is this the slowest plane ever? All right, so like I said, I didn't plan on filming it, but I thought maybe it could help somebody out. Sometimes when you're driving, if you notice like you'll get, you'll hit the gas and you'll feel like a little bit of a clunk and then the truck wants to take off. Especially if you have a lot of miles like me, I'm like 135, 140. Sometimes the grease in the slip yoke will just kind of go. So we're gonna take the drive shaft off, a section of the rear drive shaft pull out the slip yoke. I want to be able to show it to you guys and show you how to grease it. And that way this could potentially help an issue that you have. So let me get you down there. Just know I didn't plan on filming it. I already got the back half off. We're going to snap the clips and just pull out the slip yoke so I can show it to you guys and show you how to re-grease it, right? Um, I'll also have a link to like clips that you can use for this in the description and also the grease that I use, which I'll show you when we get down there, right? So let me get you under the truck. All right, so underneath, here we are underneath the truck. So front of the truck that way, rear of the truck is that way. Sorry about my nips keep popping out. All right, let's see. Right here in this accordion is the slip yoke. And what this allows is, you know, when you flex off road, this kind of shifts in and out to allow the drive shaft, you know, to slide in and out and follow you know, what the axle is doing. There's two clips, one here and one here that hold it in. They have a name. I don't remember what they're called. They're like the nice kind of special lock-in types. But we're going to pop these off real quick. The easiest way to pop them off is with a screwdriver. But of course, I do not have a screwdriver here with me. So I'm going to use these guys so I can get into them real quick and just force that pop out. What I'm trying to do is just there's like there's little hooks underneath it. I'm just trying to pop those hooks out. That sucked. Tell me, I gotta get up. I hate getting up. I hate. I'm so old and lazy these days that when I'm down here, I don't want to get up again. So I will literally do anything I can to not have to go get another tool. All right, we got one. Damn, dude, this thing's lifting up the whole trash there. All right. All right, that one's out. See it? So it's the type of clip that it is. Bent that shit up. Let's get this one now. Now, if we're lucky, and also too, so you know, um, before I removed it from the back one, I did mark it over there, so we can always try to kind of get it back the way that it was um, with a marker. <sighs> All right, so I should break that loose. Damn, dude, there it is. Broke this one, dude. And then... All right, so what you're looking at right in there are your splines right there. And you can see how each one of those should be gunked up pretty good with grease. And there's definitely some missing grease in there. All right. So I'm going to pop this. And then what I'm going to do is kind of, when I put this down, I'm going to put it down the same way that it was facing. So that I know. And what I'm going to do now is just clean in here and fill this whole thing up with grease. And then this is the type of grease that I'm going to use. Um, I want to say that it's a Ford product. I could be wrong. Um, basically... What I'm going to do is just wipe this whole thing down, squeeze this shit in there, and get it everywhere, and then put a bunch on this shaft, too. Uh, and then just put it back. We will take it from there. All right. Let's do this real quick. I have a lot of rags with you handy. It looks kind of good, so it doesn't look like there's been a lot of water in here. But there's just not that much grease in here, so... 
this is old school too. So we used to have these on the XJs. We would get rid of them on the XJs because the transfer case, you know, was a solid drive shaft um, to a slip yoke. So what we would do is get a Tom Woods drive shaft with a slip yoke eliminator, they called it, which was just like much closer and it went inside of the transfer case. I, I, I installed one on an XJ and I love that thing. Most people don't use these slip yokes anymore. All right, let's open this shit up. Dude, I think I think this is blue too. Like, I'm not positive. Does that make sense? Yeah, you see this blue right there, which is the blue that everyone uses? <laughs> it's like real thick. Yeah, and don't like, I'm not worried about making this look pretty in here. You want to coat this whole thing up. Nice. Just like that. Real nice and thick. We slide this back in, it's all going to go. We're going to get some on here. Get a little extra in there. Let it all slide in. This guy, this guy got a little bit left over. You don't really get a lot of this, so. You're not going to use it for anything else, so just fill this thing up, man. Nice. All right. And if there's a procedure for this in, like, the owner's manual, I have no idea what it is. So this is the fun part, right? Because, obviously, before we we throw that guy on there, we got to get this guy here, right this. We're going to be able to see these squines, right? But that's what it looks like. You see how lubed up that is? That's what you kind of want it, the whole thing, all right? All right, dudes. We got everything lined up. I wanted to show you something real quick. See this yellow dot? Am I focused? Focus, bro. Is that my old eyes or? All right. Yellow dot right there. And if you kind of can make it out, um, there's like a double. There's something in the line right here. See where it kind of is popping up right there. So that is, so they made this like a double um, kind of a spline right here. You won't be able, I guess this helps line it up for you when it's balanced. And then if you take a look. Leave that right there. If you take a look on the inside of this, it gets you nice and smooth. Do you notice how all singles and then boom, there's a nice gap right there. So what we're going to do is line up that yellow dot um, with this gap right here. And then hopefully that'll let us slide it right in nice and easy. If you try to get it in any other way, it's just going to fight you um, and not go in. Right. So that's, I'm going to set you guys up to get this done. So, um, super important, uh, before you throw it back in, don't forget to put this guy in. I know it makes it a bit of a pain in the ass, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like where the, this double spot is not all the way down, it's kind of a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to throw this in here, make sure it's on there and then just to check it. All right. We're cool. Double spots about right here. So. I'm going to do this. Let's get the double spot kind of in this uh, type of an orientation, like right there. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm holding this. I got a jack stand here helping me hold the drive shaft. It'll be impossible to hold this, get the drive shaft in and get everything in. So that's what we got going on right now. I think. Mm -hmm. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Perfect. Button that up. There it is. There it is. Feel that grease coming out of there. And then you just kind of throw it back there so it'll stay beautiful. We got it. So if you're having a hard time getting it, just make sure you got to line that one gap up and you'll see it. So to deal with these clamps right here, you know, you've got several different options. You know, good old hose clamps will work. I might have something left over. Let me see from when I did the axle. That'll fit. But I feel like the ones I have are either too small or too big. And then back in here, so you know too. 
Let me get this shit out of the way. So back here, if your lines, kind of back this way, if your lines that you drew here um, don't link up, go ahead and remove your emergency brake, chalk your front wheels, remove your emergency brake, lift this up. You can go ahead and just rotate the axle, right? So that your lines line up to, you know, the U joint over to um, the axle flange here. So as long as you line those up, this went in the right way on the front, you know that these went in the right way, so you should be nice and balanced. So give me two seconds, let me set you up. I'm gonna go figure out if I got any hose clamps and we'll just keep moving along. All right, so I don't have anything that's like the perfect size for these, but I do have these clips left over um, from the axle kit. Uh, the good thing about these is that it is the same style of the snap-on ones. And then what you can do, since they pretty much go the whole way around, the size isn't like a huge issue. But what you can do is just kind of give it a quick check on like where you're going to end up at kind of, and then make a cut. So what I'm going to end up doing is just like little by little, start cutting it. Uh, just don't go crazy. You don't got to cut too much the first time. So it's the worst thing you do is just cut too much. And that way you get an idea of like, see, that wasn't terrible. I could probably cut off just a tiny little bit more. I wonder if like closer to the ends. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna push it down in there. And then with these, I mean, obviously when you do this, set it up so that the, the hook part is towards the bottom, right? And then you just wanna try to get like those three hooks in just like that, right? And then you come in with this tool. I feel like that might not be tight enough. I wanna try to get one. One more in there. Boom. Got that. Okay. Now, I'm going to push up on this guy. Make sure I have a good grab right there. And then just give it a good old-fashioned squeeze. And boom, that is now nice and tight and not going anywhere. We're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, I'm going to take this big one. I'm going to line it up just to, you know, as a reference. I'm just going to kind of line it up with this one. Just give me an idea. Perfect. Kind of sitting on the same side as that one. Take this guy and go pinch a ruski. All right, perfect. That's not going anywhere. Let's go talk about the back real quick. I mean, for the most part, that was your you know service right there. Here, let's do this. I'll put it right here so you can kind of see. Do you see how I drew a line right here? Um, you just need to find it here, right? So I can just move this, and we're going to oh. There's a line right there. Let's see. Is that it? Oh, that's not the one I need. So we're going to keep going. Is it that one? Oop, it looks like it might be that one, boys. There it is. Yep. And then I can confirm I got another line up here that you can't see, but it's there. Um, and just like that. Now we know that this is the way that it came off. And then since we grooved up front, we know that's the way we came off. And we're going to get these 14s in. We can find them. Aha. There they are. Torque them down to spec. And your slip yoke service is complete. buzz all right so just like that our uh slip yoke service is done everything is bolted torqued put back together hopefully that helps out with some clunking sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't 
Um, something you can check too once you have everything off, which I checked, mine wasn't too bad. Um, sometimes just make sure you have, let's see, I wanna make sure I explain this right. Once you take the drive shaft off, um, go ahead and put your emergency brake, lift the tires up, put on your emergency brake, and then you can kind of try to spin that flange uh, coming out of the diff. Um, just to see, because sometimes, like, obviously, with a lot of working, humongous tires and shit like that, after years, there'll be, like, a lot of slack in it. Mine wasn't bad. Tiny little bit of slack. Um, but hopefully, this kind of helps out. So, if you have any questions or need anything, let me know. I'll put everything down below. I think the that special grease you have to order it. I mean, you could probably look around for it, but I just figured it's easier to order. So, I'll put the links to everything. You guys be good. Stay safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got more, like, fun stuff coming up. This is just dirty shit. All right? Be good guys take care oh i want to make sure you know i did not plan to film this but hopefully this will help somebody out out there you guys be good stay safe out there all right so if you're still here this is what i went through to try to get a photo for the thumbnail it's freaking ridiculous